this is the first um, smart doll that I purchased. Um, and to be honest, I really feel like she's going to be my only smart doll. <laughs> So obviously I didn't mean what I said in my first unboxing video. That Fortitude was going to be the only smart doll that I purchased. Some of you are probably like, well, you have an army of smart dolls because my husband Ben got into the hobby as well with Jen and Val. But at the end of the day, those are his girls and I, have felt very much that Fortitude has been mine and mine alone and have felt a very, very strong connection to her before I even purchased her. I knew that she was the doll for me from the get-go. So trying to think of a second doll to get was extremely challenging. And it was also challenging because I had made a goal for myself personally that I was not going to purchase a second doll until I felt like I had come to a point in my struggle with my mental health, which I've been very open about in other videos and social media, that I didn't want to get a doll unless I felt like I was in a point in my mind and my heart and my health where I felt like it was the right time. And so I was starting to feel that way after several months of going through some pretty intense treatment and I had it narrowed down to several girls that I was interested in, and I had an idea of how I wanted to go about choosing this specific girl. And the idea that I initially had was, well, I'm just gonna reach out to Danny and I'm gonna give him a list of girls that I have it narrowed down to and just let him pick. But I was like, I'm not gonna do that because A, he's a really busy man, and B, that's why they have the only the brave, right? That's the whole purpose of that being in existence. So instead, I had this idea to do a let the audience choose my next doll. But before I did that, I wanted to reach out to Danny to see if that was okay, because a couple of the girls on the list hadn't been released yet. And by a couple, I mean all of them. <laughs> Had not been released yet. And I didn't wanna put this video out in June if it was gonna be a year before they were gonna be released. And I also wanted to get his like opinion on if he was comfortable with me doing a video like that. And then also if there was a tie between any of the girls that were voted upon, that he would be the tiebreaker. And the other part with that was like, it would be a poll, be a survey monkey. I would know nothing about it. Ben would be the one to know and make the order once the girl dropped. So I sent this long email to Danny <laughs> explaining it. And I meant it to not be so long, but I am me. And as you know, everything has a story. So I'm gonna tell you right now that if you're here to see this unboxing, cool. If you don't wanna hear my story, also cool. Please read below when the unboxing timer starts because there's gonna be a little bit of chatting before we get into the unboxing. Uh, yeah, because that's just how this is gonna be. And I would say that this is a very, very important moment and it deserves all of the talking and all of the opinions that I have to give it. So I sent Danny this email and I got a response back basically saying, I don't quite understand what you're asking. <laughs> well, you're asking me, but it sounds like you're asking me to choose your next doll. And if that's the case, you should choose this doll. I laughed because when I got the email back, I was so nervous I couldn't read it. So I had Ben read it. So in a way, my original idea was to have him choose. And my intent was not to make it be that way, but he did. I do want to preface that just because he did this for me, I don't want people to just like blow up his email and ask for the same thing. I think it was just- Pure coincidence. Pure coincidence that it happened this way. And I'm very grateful to Danny. I sent him a thank you email back. The reason why it was also really funny and coincidental was because she dropped literally the next day. So if you don't know already who it is, I'm going to read you the one page paper that I wrote 
when I, I literally mm. wrote a pa one page for each girl that I wanted and my reasons for why. There were three. There were the three. And my reasons for why related to them so much. Because like with Fortitude, Fortitude it was like instantaneous. Her story, everything like touched my soul. I knew I loved her immediately. There were no questions about it. And Fortitude was important because she sparked, she was the, the catalyst that lit this tiny fire in my heart to, to take this journey, really. Like she's the reason for it. And without her, I wouldn't have had the strength or the ability to take care of myself the way that I needed to and to ask for help and to realize that things had gotten bad with my mental and physical health. So this next doll needed to represent the next step, the next stage, because together they are the yin and the yang, they are the circle. So what I wrote is a quote from Danny about this girl, is a symbol and reminder that we must take the energy from negative toxic people around us and use it as motivation to move forward instead of allowing them to bring us down. Independence is your strength. Independence for me is something that has taken me many years to develop. As children, we are dependent, particularly on our parents and other caregivers to survive. There is this belief that reaching adulthood equates to total independence, but in many cases it doesn't. In my case, having low self-esteem and having had endured abusive and controlling relationships in the past, I depended on others for not only emotional support, but how they saw me and interacted with me shaped how I viewed myself. Independence is another word for freedom, but it has taken me 30 years to truly feel free enough to live the life I wanted without fear of what others say or think. I didn't do this on my own though. I did this through therapy, through recognizing the many hurts inside of myself that I have ignored for years and years. I was choosing to ignore the wound in my heart and instead wore a mask for the people around me so they would like me, even if it meant people who were toxic or unhealthy. I relate to independence now because I no longer feel guilty cutting those out of my life or setting boundary with those that have brought me hurt. I've also learned to be more comfortable saying no. There is a lot of power and such a tiny word. If I don't wanna go out or I need a mental health day, I advocate for myself. I'm learning to be comfortable doing things on my own and without justifying or feeling the need to explain myself. Simply being able to say, because I want to, is very freeing. Lastly, independence for me means freedom from the shackles of the anxiety and the PTSD which has bound me. While I am not cured of it, and it will never be a cure, it will be an ongoing battle. But in this battle, I will always win the war. And I've proven to myself that these last few months, sorry. I am a fighter and no one can fight this fight except for me. So with that being said, Danny chose for me Independence Coco. And I think it was a very good choice and I relate to it very much. And I think that it is something that I will grow to appreciate as I continue this healing process, which ebbs and flows. And so I'm glad to have her and I'm glad to have fortitude because of what they represent and what they mean for me and my future and just to help give me some strength and happiness through it all. And without further ado, we're gonna let her out, take a look. When I first saw Independence Coco, I was on the phone with Sandy from My Lady Disdain, who has become a very dear friend of mine, both she and her husband, John. Um, we, oh. <laughs> we were having a FaceTime call and he had just previewed her. Coco Independence, and I was looking at her, and Ben was outside 
just hanging out. He comes running, like running in from the door. And he's like, did you see her? And I'm looking at her and I had literal tears in my eyes while I was looking at her. Via tradition, we're gonna start with the box. I didn't order any clothes, but we did order a hand pack because she has to have her own hand pack and we chose hand pack two. So we got her a hand pack. All the Cocoa Girls come with a little bit of a melamine sponge. Um, I have lots of sponges that I purchased because I've had to buff scratches out of our Cinnamon Girls. And with Cocoa Girls, they show up a little bit more easy. So I'm gonna have to take extra special care of her and make sure that I don't have that issue. Or if I do have that issue, but I'm addressing it properly. And then we ordered three of the Clickety click or swing, what do you call it? Swing, swing swinging, clickety click clickety, stands. Clickety clack, clickety click stands. To try those out. So we're pretty excited to give excited. those a try. Woo! That's a clickety click, all right. You didn't know you were here for ASMR, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. I am not going to lie. I think that this may be. You said that about Valiant, you liar. Okay, well. <laughs> I, in the top five most beautiful wigs, okay? Val's is one of the top five. I'd say Entropy's default wig is another one of the most beautiful wigs. I am biased that Fortitude's wig is beautiful, but I have always loved silver, this has a bit of a green charge. Yeah, it does. Some like golden. There's some black, there's some silver, there's some blonde, and maybe some brown in there to kind of give it overall like a green color. Like it's a not sage, green, but it's sagey, yeah. kind of sagey, sagey gray green. I just fell in love with this wig. Uh, I love that it's straight long. I actually bought Fortitude from another seller, the straight long sunset orange wig, which should be here any day now because I've just, I've been really digging the straight wigs. So it's gonna be really hard to find any other wig that is gonna be as good or as beautiful as this one because it's just true perfection. Can I make a quick shout out? Zazu wigs, you got you got some good stuff. Yeah, we have we have a bunch of your wigs. We're going to be doing a video. We um, got a couple. We've we've got a quick on a lot. We're going to do a video where we're going to go through our collection. But I'm probably going to try to order one or two more that could be options for Indy to wear. That is her name. It's going to be Indian Forty. I know it's really basic. But I, I'm always very attached to the names that Danny gives the girls. So I have Especially no- Especially since he kind of picked her. He also, he, he picked her. Yeah, I'm not changing the name, it's it's Indy. And if it's Indy for Indiana Jones, she's gonna be doing an Indiana Jones cosplay at some point. But- um, Yeah, we're basic. We have- We're basic. We have 40 Jen. Val and Indy, whatever. We've just, this is how it's gonna be. Ew. I'm so excited that she's in the gray panties. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got the gray undies. My first unboxing was obviously super overwhelming. The size, like it was taking in Smart Doll for the first time ever. But now I know what to expect. Size-wise, but I do not know what to expect when it comes to cocoa, because all of our girls have been cinnamon. And I always thought I would get tea before cocoa. Tea will be next, or blue, if we get lucky. I'm, I'm not looking at her until I get her out of the bag. Oh my gosh. Oh, that smell of vinyl is so good. Oh my gosh. I like need to get her in the light. Sorry, you don't get to see anything right now because I'm taking where, her in. Her eyes are so incredibly blue. I'm, I'm 
I'm getting good at the Danny powers. We're there. We're there. All right. Woo Put her in the light. She's also my first semi-real girl, because Fortitude is in the anime. Yes, like we're we're in kind of dark light right now, so it's hard for me to like really see her face. Like I'm gonna be turning on all the lights when we're done filming, so I can get a really good look at her face. But she has these gorgeous ice blue eyes. I'm trying to think if any of the other girls have the same color eyes. We thought that maybe Dauntless had the same color eyes, but it was really tell. hard to tell. I love her eyebrows. I love her face. Wig? Wig. Wig, and then we're, we are gonna put her in her outfit because I want her, like, it's really cool to see her in her, her underpants, but like, I did pick out, I bought some leggings from Elite, Elite Doll World, and then I picked out this top that I bought from Royal Smart Doll a couple of months ago that I thought the colors would just really complement her beautiful skin tone. She's so pretty. I also really love the underwear being kind of like boys cut with the booty cheeks coming out, like a lot, a lot. Nice job on the undies. Undies. Great, the gray is awesome. I'm such a huge fan. She's so pretty. So I have decided that she is gonna wear a lot of bright colors with Forty, because Forty is kind of the girl that, right now she's the kawaii girl, so she needs a kawaii bud. Indy and Forty are gonna be buds with clothes. I wanna do one comparison, just just to kind of give you an idea of skin tone difference. Just don't grab Fortitude because she's in cosplay. No. I wanted to have Forty out here for this to meet her sister, but she is dressed in cosplay. Um, I've been working on a cosplay for next week. And so she is going to stay in her costume until then. Um, so you don't get to see her until we do that video. But I haven't posted any photos of Valiant with her new Her new wig, wig and her new outfit, all of which is culture Japan. Except for the wig, Zazu wigs. Zazu. Which, this wig is probably gonna look really good also on So this, on is, this, is, a, this is a silver wig on Val, and this is uh, the standard wig for Indy. And you can tell it's not quite gray, it's kind of, it's kind of greenish. Yeah, she's beautiful. I am so excited. Yeah, and like, I remember when I was first looking at Smart Doll, I was like, I need to have a Coco Girl someday. So I'm really excited to have one. And um, it's just really special. She's my favorite Coco Girl, period, ever. I have a lot of favorites and I've had a lot of favorites in the past where I was like, well, maybe I would do Liberty someday, or maybe I would do Coco, Kitty Girl, Curiosity was also really cute too, one of my favorites. But I, she's, she's the favorite. She is the favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and change her quickly. Look at those eyes. When uh, the camera died, Ben had me come over to see, the, see her in the light because it's darker over on this side. And man, like I was just like blown away. I get a little paranoid with heads sometimes, so. Um, and every girl we've gotten, their head kind of feels a little different when they're, <laughs> when we're twisting them. So like they all are unique. Uh, their joints feel a little bit different even once they're broken in. Like they're all just unique and different. They're like real people. We're like, our bodies all do different things. Like that's just how it is. They all have different hair colors and eye colors and <clears throat> Now we have a new skin color to add to our collection. I adore her. She is beautiful and this outfit looks amazing on her. Thank you guys for being here for another unboxing and for all of you, any of you who are struggling with mental illness, any of any kind, or know someone or are close with someone who is struggling, it's tough. It's so, it's so tough. And I can't stress that enough. So just know that I love you and I'm thinking of you and hoping and sending all the positivity your way that I can that 
you'll find the strength and the, the independence within yourself to free yourself from, from whatever binds you. So I love you all very much. Extra thanks to Danny Chu for your help and guidance. We'll let you know who comes next in the future, which will be on his end, not my end. Took me seven months to get to this point. Thank you for your support. You're wonderful. And I'll be seeing you in a couple weeks for some ridiculous shenanigans with a couple of my best friends who are driving down here to stay with us and to do a epic cosplay. So take care. See y'all later. Peace out, Bean Sprouts. Bye.